Ladies and gentlemen, crown of thoughts, Jason Sinekill. Yeah, word. Hailing all the way from Santa Maria, California. He flew here just to do this one episode and fly back. I'm just kidding. Until Double A kicks me out. Crown <laughs> of Thoughts in association with Reality Horror Records. RHR. And this yeah. blood right here. And he drinks. Shout out to Third Base. Third Base. Cheers. Jesus, I'll, I'll, I'll regret it. Last time I had one of these slushies, I had the worst hangover ever. These would be good in California. And I didn't learn. Um, you don't have slushies in California. Mm, you got I everything would. you could possibly imagine. <laughs> yeah. You can buy <laughs> weed at like a fucking gas station. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Not I'm daiquiris. Exaggerating. Oh, Not daiquiris. I? No, you can't buy it. This is the only thing you can't buy. The daiquiris on deck in the uh, store. They got no slushies. That would be crazy. Wrong. All the chicks would love that though. Pennsylvania is the dark ages. We were just... I guess a couple years ago, allowed to have beer at the fucking store. That was trippy when you when you told me that. I was like, what the hell? I was like, I thought you guys would have been like, yeah, like stayed on deck with those uh, drinks all the time. Nah, I thought that's where beer came from was from the East Coast. Yeah. Well, Gangling was the first brewery ever, I believe. Yeah, those are bomb. Those laggers. Rolling the blunt. I've smoked so many blunts. Mm -hmm. I couldn't count. I don't know how to roll shit, so I don't, yeah. I'd never do it. Yeah, these blunts are good. This, uh, that's all I smoke. How long? Blunts. This dude's been here a, a 16 week or days. two? 16, 16, days. 16 days. I already counted it <laughs> yesterday. I was like, fuck, how long have I been here? <laughs> 16 fucking days. We yeah. made, recorded four tracks already, so that's cool. In York, Pennsylvania. See, us people that live here think of California as where all the cool people are. Yeah. And we're like, why would anyone <laughs> come to fucking York, Pennsylvania, <laughs> of all places? I didn't get away from over there. Yeah. It's too nuts. It's just, uh, sometimes you got to get away to record. I was able to write my rhymes, but I wasn't able to record. So oh, yeah. it was rough. So I was like, I got to get something different. I got to change it up. So I'm like, well, double A's around. Maybe I'll hit him up and then. I asked you and you're you're cool with it, so I was like, fuck yeah. Came through. Double A Cynical Undisputed Druids episode. Yeah. Again. Blowing this blunt. We watched we've now watched like a billion horror movies. <laughs> yeah. Since I actually found someone that'll sit through these movies with me. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I loved it because, uh, and I still love, I love horror movies. They're the best. Um, and then that one movie uh, was an actual real reality horror movie, A Thousand Junkies. The curse of that. <laughs> Go on TV, watch a Thousand Junkies. That shit was fucking hilarious. They're trying to <laughs> cop in the entire movie. They're trying to cop, and it's like. <laughs> It starts off like 7 a.m. and they're sitting in the car like, oh, shit. I called the dude a half hour ago. <laughs> yeah. And it's like so they they finally cop at the very end of the movie. That's a horror, horror film if I've yeah. ever seen one. That feeling is the feeling of anxiety. When's the dude coming? <laughs> yeah. That's like the worst ever. That is the fucking worst. In that movie, man, with the guy with the scarf, he had a scarf. Like he's Jimmy Hendrix. That's what wasn't believable <laughs> about was... it. This dude's wearing this scarf and it's like hanging down to his knees. Yeah. Looking like <laughs> some kind of pussy. He's like some hipster dude. Yeah. A real junkie would not bother with the scarf. <laughs> yeah. It'd be an annoying. They don't care about fashion. They'd probably put it on their arm. <laughs> around their arm more than their neck. Damn. But yeah, that was weird. It, it's, it's like the he, he, he got the scarf, bought the scarf, and wanted to do a movie about being a junkie or something. <laughs> it's all based around the scarf. That's what was sad. If they lost the scarf, it was, ah. the whole movie would have been believable. <laughs> yeah. It would have been fine. Exactly. A, thou a thousand junkies, we saw it on Tubi. I yeah. don't know where else. It probably is somewhere else. Right. Straight to video back Watch that day. shit, and you'll agree. <laughs> you'll be like, oh, this is cool with the scarf guy. Yeah, he got to go. Fuck that. You gotta get Nicky Scarfo instead. <laughs> Whack his ass. <laughs> so we've been problem. launching this this reality horror records thing. It's in like beta testing phase. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna reach out and find other people to get involved. Mm -hmm. 
so far on the roster, it's Double A, Cinekill, Skeet Rez, uh, DJ Razor. We've got a vi uh, Venomous Villain. He's from uh, Chicago. I just talked to him yesterday. Um, Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant. said something about Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, um, he, he might be one of the producers on there. I haven't mean, really, I just I mentioned it to him. But um, yeah, it's going to be a tote. Well, we're looking for five. He's gonna. I, I was telling Double A yesterday. You gotta find. You gotta find five, and then I'll find five <coughs> to be like to be on the compilation and to and to drop a solo album. Get some more people. Because <laughs> it's yeah. one thing. <coughs> you gotta have people on there, man. We got two motherfuckers putting out solo albums. It's not gonna attract that much attention. Not. No, it won't. Also, here's the thing. I've been focused. I've said it before. I've been focusing on the wrong aspects like how can we get all these subscribers and how can we blah, blah, blah. yeah you gotta when it's supposed to just be a hobby and just be fun yeah you gotta put out the material first and then yeah. and then then study it <coughs> like drop a, a comp once we drop the compilation and then yeah once i drop the compilation then we worry about that but i don't think we have to we, we need to just get the people i feel it like so they always say when I watch YouTube shit, like, I'll put a link in the description. Mm -hmm. I hear that all. So I could probably put a link in the description about you could YouTube pages and shit like that. <coughs> yeah. Or uh, I was thinking there's another way. Uh, we dropped the same video five or ten times back to back and then put different tags on each one of them. And then whatever one hits the most, delete the other ones and then just keep that other one. That's a little, you know what I mean? Let to it have run. like different ways of presenting. It. Yeah, so you got to have it works. That to me, that's the way you got to do it. Like you got to do it and try it different ways and have it running for like uh, those 10 videos of the same thing for about 24 hours. And then after 24 hours, check and see which one's the most. Would attract the most Yeah, attention. and then keep that one and delete the rest of them. And then we'll just keep going. Like I made a whole bunch of different style logos. Yeah. And see, certain ones, like I don't know. Certain ones attract more attention that I wouldn't even that I didn't even like as much. Mm -hmm. The logos I liked, it's like nobody fucking wants to see. So I, you know, I gotta. It's whatever, but yeah, that's yeah. the concept. Yeah, like the one with your cat. I, I took a picture of your cat, and it got like 130 views. Like I saw within that. Like two seconds. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? It's like we could have zero skill. Mm -hmm. And just put cats all over the <laughs> yeah, fucking seriously. YouTube page. And all the cat people. My album cover will have like cats on it. <laughs> yeah. People are like, oh, I want that. <laughs> well, I was watching it's that movie. It's weird how, how much cats. cat videos yeah, attract. Nah, attract. Serious. Or anything, really. You put anything, um, certain things will hit. Um, like uh, I had a picture of Joe Pesci. Uh, <laughs> he was kicking some guy down on, on the floor. He's just kicking him, and then it was, and then that hit like more than all of them. That that was like seven hundred right away. But Joe then, Pesci just alone, just the hey, name yeah. makes me laugh. I know, that guy's fucking hilarious. Joe Pesci over here. You <laughs> about it? <laughs> no. I know. Dude, Did yeah. you ever? Oh, what's that fucking it. movie? I probably not because of anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cousin, dude, that dude, is you, so funny. You gotta watch that later. I could not stop laughing. I, I was actually looking for it. I named a song. I wanted to watch it. I named a song called Two Utes. <laughs> the Two Utes. Uh, Two Utes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite part. So you've seen that movie? Yeah, I love that. That's movie. one of my. That's. I just yeah. recently saw it. Yeah, my mom. My me. mom she played it for me mm -hmm. because she had seen it, and I was like, "This that movie was so funny. The movie is awesome. I could not believe it, man." Two youths. <laughs> and I'm um, having Herman Munster. I was like, what? That was his last movie, too. <coughs> was it? Herman Munster's, yeah. So RIP to him. Oh, not Joe Pesci, though. Not Joe Pesci. He's uh, still alive. Herman Munster? What do you mean, like, from the Adams family? No, from the Munsters. Oh, the Munsters. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm fucking dead. That guy's old school, man. He was, I remember him as a kid. He was in Pet Cemetery. The also. Munsters was like the great value mm -hmm. version of the Adams family. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or which one came first? Um, oh, they're both different different kind of styles, actually. The strippers, they came out at the same time, though, I think. But, like, they were competing with each other. You know how they did That's that? That's like uh, Star Wars and Dune. Mm -hmm. They both came out at the same time. Star Wars kind of got the more, oh, yeah. more attention. What was Dune? Like, David Lynch? I don't know. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not good with actors. Then they had V. Remember V? <laughs> they tried to get that because of the Vulcan. The Vulcan was big back then with the Nimoy guy, Leonardo, whatever. <laughs> Leonardo <Nemo>. Spock. <laughs> yeah. Lemore. Lemore. Is it? I don't know. Nimoy. Or something like that. Leonardo. 
Fucking Spock. I used to love Star Trek. Spock was crazy. I had every Star Trek movie on VHS. Yeah. My VHS collection. <laughs> it wasn't until Cinekill came here that I realized I regret giving away. I sold my VHS horror collection mm. to Retro Addicts. He tried to tell me it wasn't worth that. I'm like, yeah. so I tried to take it away, and he's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. It's like, yeah, my VHS horror awesome, collection man. is the best. Those are, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, no, I wish I would have saved it. Yeah. But I don't know any old school, like, 80s, 70s slasher fans. Fans, really? Really. Well, not you, like you. you. You should have kept them just for yourself. But I can see uh, passing it down. You guys sometimes pass the torch down. If you're not, if that's you're not, true. If you're not evolving, because there's other collectors. Yeah, there's like, other I didn't even have a VHS. Yeah, if you're not really watching them a lot, but but that's a big yeah, that's a real big thing now. Like VHS, cassettes, vinyl, all that shit's uh, coming back. But I've done the done the same thing. Sold uh, I sold uh my cassettes. I Sometimes sold, times are hard. And you gotta. Yeah, sometimes it's times like are hard. A tank of gas to get to a fucking or a natty daddy. Any a natty daddy? <laughs> and I had to try. That's what I was doing at the time. I was like, "Fuck, I'm drinking some natties." <laughs> Bought four of them. I need an eight ball of crack, man. Yeah, life's getting rough. I it's need some, just necessities. You need to wash it down. <laughs> <laughs> natty daddies. I know people that drink those, and I can only say one thing about someone that drinks natty daddies. That's a true alcoholic. Because mm -hmm. that's the most disgusting thing ever. Mm -hmm. They drink it is gross. For six but they months, drink it because that. it has eight percent alcohol mm -hmm. and it don't fill their stomach. Yeah, I drink those. Uh, it's like a back. strategic, nasty. Thing. Yeah, I drink. Uh, I try to drink one of them. I just took a sip and I like. I was like, oh. It was back it in the day. Like so it tastes like rubbing out. It tastes like you might as well drink vodka. I think. Yeah, or yeah, or Thunderbird. Some Thunderbird. Thunderbird. <laughs> and mixed with some Ripple. <laughs> I know. Some shit. fucking um, burn your gut. Gut burn. <laughs> gut rot. Or they call it. Or but, the St. Ives. Oh, St. Ives, man. Oh, man. I never drank those. That, uh, OE. OE, Old English. That was the first thing I ever drank. Four years oh, yeah. of Old English. Mickey's. I, that was and they would make ones. me sick. I'd basically throw up off of one of them. Yeah, I was too skinny to be drinking I those, was, those things. I didn't I drink until I was like out of high school, and I drank like two beers and throw up. Mm -hmm. Like I could not. Like I say, it takes it takes dedication and practice. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to say it was a oh, chore. Man. It was a chore. When I, I me and my friends would say, "Oh, drink." Well, my friends drank. I, I was just always telling them it's a chore to drink a Mickey's forty ounce. Because it was so horrible. I like the grenades. Yeah, the, 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 the Gein. Shout out to Gein, too, man. He was always drinking those. That was his drink right there. But, yeah, I could never drink those. Gein. You guys. Shout out to Cutthroat, too. I, I made see a... him later. There's this Fuck, man. recording. What, what is it? Like, episode five, I did this documentary that about the horror core MySpace shit. This is Sinecure, the puppet master. So we had <laughs> yeah. who who was it? We can shout out to a bunch of people. Grimy let's, J. Let's do a shout out right now. Let's do a shout out to everybody right now. Okay, let's see. You do one and I'll do one. And then everyone. Natus Live. Grimy J. Fucking uh, Nero. Casa Cass. <laughs> and shouts out to Nero, <laughs> man. If you're ever watching that, man, because from you, Pennsylvania, man. Yeah, we're, we're, we're part Nero. Yeah, if you exist anymore, you need to start in some it. form. I don't know your real name. I know, like, Nero, I think, changed his name from Nero to something else. like Axe Ishmael? Uh, yeah, yeah he, I'm not sure. He went by that for a while, Axe Ishmael. I think left the horror and went to more different style rap. Yeah. Anyway, he, dude's in Pennsylvania. Dude's bad, too. Shouts out to Ruckus. He's in Pennsylvania, I heard. Uh, I want to hit him up, too. Shouts out to Ruckus from Butcher Beat Productions. Maybe all these people could get on... The show, yeah, that's what we you need to. Uh, but there was this kick-ass thing, and we were like a whole Wu Tang style clique of people. Yeah, from different areas of the world, practically, because Cast Castles, UK. We even had what? Monster was from Australia. Monster, shout out to Monster. Sludgy, <laughs> uh, sludgy. Uh, was I? Yeah. <laughs> I would say it's from the song, but it's too brutal. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> Sludgy, yeah, yeah, that's all I could say. Yeah, because damn, it was a classic. I want to put it on right it's now and bump it. Man. 
That's the one I'm gonna bump every single day, like when I go to summer. <laughs> yeah, that's like uh, breakfast. It's like coffee and monster. <laughs> yeah, <Man>. monster. <laughs> Keep you gotta, it sludgy. You gotta have monster in your morning. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to CRH, uh, the MCs over there in uh, Santa Maria, uh, Grangerville, uh, Outkick, what's um, Samsara, RIP DBS. Uh, Shouts out DJ Razor, and then uh, you want to shout out DJ Razor too, remember? Yeah, man, <laughs> I listened to DJ Razor sent me his mixes. Fucking, I know, I know you and him are like, <laughs> yeah, are like best buds. I never yeah. fucking really talked to much of the guy, moment. but he makes these crazy mm -hmm. fucking mixes, and they're they're almost like trippy. You could play them at a rave, so except bad, it's man. horror core, so they're rapping about. It. He's like, I was on it, so I I, I was. It, in a state of mind and and i put this on and i'm listening to this crazy fucking mix of weird it's it is awesome mm -hmm. it's like the executioners yeah it makes me go like this. Shit, like, but i hate yeah. to say that i hate to put any kind of label but i was in it all of a sudden i'm hearing yeah. my voice i think and that's why he sent it to my you. head so bad i man. think he, he sent it to you because he he knew you were in it that's why i told him <laughs> to do send it to everybody who's in it so they know you know what i mean and i told him and then uh shout out to darkness too, uh, him, him and Razor just dropped a, a little uh, mixtape too. Looking um, forward to doing a, a track with him. He said, "Yeah, I can, oh yeah, I'll yeah. probably be able to do a track with him." And then me and you got those tracks we were doing. Um, we're, we're, we're in Skeet, the middle of and recording. Skeet Rez, obviously, who was yeah. on this Shout show before. Rez, he yeah. was like, I think the I did two solo shows. He was, but he was like the last guest I had. Yeah, Jim Pressel. Man, that guy's cool. Skeet Rez, hopefully. Hopefully he can get down here so the three of us can do one. I was do talking a special to him today, but he yeah. has a busy fucking life. It, so hopefully he can get down. Do there. a special edition. You know what I mean? DC or uh, D, uh, Deleted Souls. I'm not busy. Like I'm busy, but I'm always here. I don't got. He he got like a wife, and a fucking kid. He's got to do that shit. But yeah. hopefully he can get down here. Yeah, man. That's a blessing though. Like to be with the family. Yeah, you know I mean, always understand. I always got to shout out. out. Yeah. We should shout out the blessings to all the families out there that keeping it together because that's what that's really honestly that's I mean, real, honestly that's not, real hardcore. I'm, yeah, that's shit. the most hardcore thing to say oh, because my the kids on. the kids are the future and shit. And this and uh, shouts out to my sons Phoenix and Bubs. Shouts out to the baby mamas Lisa and Ashley because um, uh, honestly I really uh, appreciate them and. Uh, Cinekill is a dad, and he's also a person who wants his music uh, career to blossom. It's almost like uh, being a, you, you're trying to be a boss for a, a, a job you really want. And that's what I want to do. I want to get paid off of doing stuff I love. Not even just getting paid. I just want to be uh, comfortable. You know what I mean? But um, I think I am. As long as I'm expressing my music, I'm comfortable. In it. And this is heaven in a way, too, they say. And shout out to Alan Watts, too. <laughs> Alan Watts, yeah. Shout out to Alan Watts. Man, dude. Seriously. If you guys have never heard Alan Watts, like half of your mind is not being used. We would have killed each other by now if it was for Alan Watts or, or what's that other guy's name? That guy is true. Jordan Just, Peterson. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Nietzsche. <laughs> Nietzsche. 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 What's his word? Yeah, Nietzsche. I know who you're talking about. Nietzsche. I might not know. Philosophers, I man. People need to start looking into the philosophers, giving them their, uh, oh, Schopenhauer. Uh, the, uh, it's like because some people have put in a lot of thought and time into some shit that's helpful that mm -hmm. we don't have time to put a lot of thought into it. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to hear some other people who have. It's like you're hearing 30 years or, or 15 years or whatever the fuck years worth of wisdom yeah. from someone that put that much time into it. It's like take that it. You can't. That's why YouTube and all, is awesome. and all this, you can get wisdom from people. You don't even have to go to school. I was thinking that yeah, today. You I can like, watch actual college lectures. Yeah. On. And, and the dopamine, like the dopamine. Like Kids, I learned. fuck yeah. school. Yeah. <laughs> I watched tomorrow. Some guys go, hey, watch uh, YouTube <laughs> instead. <laughs> yeah. It's a trip. But no, it's real. It's real stuff. Uh, Alan Watts, shots out to him. He's really awesome. Yeah, we, we both fucking, Man. Alan Watts is a. In a time of chaos, you could watch him and then kind of like go back into humbleness mode and like peaceful mode and that's really important because uh man it's just this is really dumb. i'm gonna regret having drank that yeah i want to drink mine slow <laughs> <laughs> probably Sorry. a good idea it just tastes so good. and i gotta give a shout out to my friend marco uh what up playa keep the pinkies up while you drink it now 
because uh, he's the one that showed me how to drink slow. We got to drink slow. I used to always pound, pound it and then get out. Like 20 minutes later, I'd be like shit face and I'd be like, oh, hey. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah, it's okay that, that we started drinking because it's now noon. Yeah. You man. don't want to drink before noon. We're adults, we're artists and shit. <laughs> he works, you know what I mean? I sweep and shit. <laughs> nah, freaking out. So, yeah, now, nah, um, what about this house, man? How clean is this house now? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so cloud, clean, I think. <laughs> so you flew from California. It oh, was like man. a plan. It was brutal. to do it at some point, but then all of a sudden you're like, "Yo, I'm coming. I gotta get up there tomorrow." Yeah, or some, or some shit. And like you're all, that. "You need a cigarette and a coffee or something." Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, like, "You it. need a cigarette and coffee." I'm like, "Yeah, you're right, dude. Exactly." <laughs> yeah, but so you came up here. Yeah. And uh, away from fucking California. Brutal. So he comes here. That's fine. And we party the first like two days. And then it's my house is. Perfect. I can't explain how fucked up my house is. Just think how of messy Alice, it generally Alice is. Video. <laughs> it's, it's so clean now it that is. it feels like it's twice as big. It does, There's it so is. much room. I had to clean it up before myself, you know what I mean? I'm inspired. I gotta, I gotta keep it this way, dude. Yeah. Now that it's up. clean, I could at least not mess it up. Yeah, you know what I mean. Maintain it a little bit, and yeah. then. Uh, but this is a beautiful house, man. And, you know, shouts out to people. You gotta like, yeah, buy buy smart. You know what I mean? Like that's what I say. And that's what I learned from Double A. Um, he really is a smart dude, and and uh, and I I, I didn't know uh, how uh, serious and and uh, important. Everything is um, until I came here and uh, I got a chance to get a peace of mind and to get away from um, uh, Cinecule over there or Jason, Jason and Cinecule um, from California. I want to be somewhere I never been before, which is be like the East Coast. I always love the East Coast. Hopefully from here, I'm going to travel a little bit more too. But um, it's really a humbling experience because, man, you should everyone should be humble because in the end, uh, it taught me how to be humble when I came here. Because now when I go other places, I need to do the same. And um, that's the only, that's in life, I think as humans, you could be at your home all, all, the, all your life and never be humble. But, and, or you could be humble a little bit. But when you come other places, that's the only thing you can do in order to build or to even uh, build inside myself and reincarnate myself as a better person. And so I shout out to you too, man, for letting me come over and do this interview. It's important. I've been wanting to get on this set and get some of these lecture, lecture no. <laughs> cannibal holocaust. Yeah, you yeah. know we had to fucking stick that. Yeah, there. and uh, Rob Zombie for uh, you know, double A. Fuck Rob Zombie. <laughs> Jim Jim straight called me out on my being. Sn <laughs> if you watch the one with Jim, yeah, Russell, he's classic. Rez. That was a classic. Play. I was talking shit on Rob Zombie, and he straight out called me out on that shit. Yeah, man. He don't let me get away with nothing. He's he's like, dude, you're fucking jaded, man. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we take we take the uh, ourselves take serious. shit too yeah. seriously. Yeah. Yeah. When we take music serious um, and stuff like that, and like, uh, yeah. But sometimes you gotta just let it be. But yeah, I, I was at that point one, at one time. But you're gonna probably be over that shit. I got a lot of music snob friends. I didn't like. Or I'll call my. I'll call them musically. Whatever the fuck they listen to a lot of music. Fuck yeah! Like like Luke and and Doug and a whole bunch of other people. And so yeah, for me when I when I'm so obsessed with music, I tend to get on the snobbish side. And yeah. Be like, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah. Well, what about limp? What do you think about limp biscuit? Like <laughs> this shit again? <laughs> no, it's always. I think they're bad. That's like the, 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 that's like the baseline of how to tell if someone's a music snob. What do you think about limp biscuit? Yeah. Three, well, the first album, three dollar bill, you know, is crazy. We were playing this the other night. Yeah, I never heard it before. That like, album yeah. is crazy. And, and then it's great. And then the the very next one, I was like, no. Yeah. Was that with Nikki? Nucky, yeah. But what about one. the uh, Method, but, Man, but, uh, Method Man one? Yeah, that was on there, right? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what album that song, but that song was really good. Yeah, that was a good one. I love the beat. <laughs> and then, yeah. What is that? Is yeah. that the one where he's like, just shut the fuck up? Yeah. yeah. What's it all about? What's going yeah. on? <laughs> <laughs> he was doing that too much. He was lingering on the, yay. <laughs> no, and so, like, that's yeah. exactly what he does, though. You know what I mean? That's what it, that sums it up, sums his style up right there. But you know what? Um, uh, I got I got a little piece of Fred Dursch. When I do Cinecure too, I'll, I'll do that, but I won't do it like. Yay! <laughs> I'll be like, uh, I'll just like hear a certain like when I'm perf when I'm performing though, like, and uh, that's dope. Performing is awesome, but uh, you learn something every time. Every time you're learning. How many shit. shows have you done? I did uh, all together a hundred. A hundred. A hundred shows. 100 yeah. Even. <laughs> even well, yeah. it's like around ninety-eight to a hundred or to yeah, no more than a hundred. More or less. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Like it's it's it. It has to be ninety up to a hundred because there's a couple shows I it's, did I didn't do. When you do when you do that many shows, it's kind of hard to keep track. Yeah, but my I don't think I I never did that many shows as as double A. Yeah, but I don't actually know the number either. Yeah, no, I only know the number just because of the flyers. That's how I keep track. Oh yeah, you got flyers, flyers, man. I didn't keep. I keep track of all that shit. Your yeah. shit was more organized. Yeah, you had, like album covers. That was my thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, album covers. I, I was gotta, a mess. See, like I, I don't got my full my 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 physical copies of my album, the albums. I just gave it all away. I was like, but later on, I wanted the them. hard copies. Yeah, you know how you should save each one, and but I never. But did you'd that. rather someone else have. Them. Yeah, I'd rather so have someone else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what I used to say to myself. I'm like, well, I'd rather them. It's more um, good to for them to hear it and shit, but um, so like, but what was I gonna go with that? Yeah, now I don't even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> we're a little spaced out. <laughs> yeah, turn all the plan. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but uh, now, nah, but we're talking about the yeah, uh, physical yeah, physical copies. I don't want, but and the digital art, copies. And artwork yeah, and shit, and, and a well packaged, like a, a well packaged deal. Thanks, man. You always had that. And I oh, just yeah. had like MP3s and folders. That's it. Yeah, like yeah, I didn't yeah. have nothing. But to me, you had the, the everything else. You had the fucking. To me, uh, I could be your hype man. Like I think you're better than. <laughs> like um, I, I think I should be your hype man, and, and we would work out. But I know sometimes we're we're rely maybe like, I don't know. I we think we did so many yeah. songs together. I know, man. The first. All right, so. That's brutal. So like I was. The the whole story is, we were. Both about we're both about the same age, so it was like early tw to mid twenties. Yeah, what, what age? Shit, I was doing when you hit me up. Or I don't even know how it I happened. Up, it was on MySpace. And then Nero, remember? Nero saw my MySpace yeah. page. I was doing some raps, and I, it was kind of like rudimentary, early stage. And then definitely, Nero definitely, showed definitely. it to yeah. you. Yeah, he, he. So so this guy sends me a blank beat. Yeah, and and well, he's like, do the first verse and the chorus, <laughs> and this, um, was this was the first time. This is random. I always would try really hard to make like a a half bullshit rap song. Yeah, that didn't sound that well, and I was just hoping someone would listen to it. And out of nowhere, I get a beat saying, "Do the first verse and the chorus." And I'm like, oh my god, mm -hmm. I have a, like a fan, or like <laughs> yeah. somebody likes my music. Hell yeah! So it was the most. I was like a little kid look, looking at it, like, oh my god, this is so awesome. It is awesome too. And so it was Devil's Call. Yeah, and I, that's the first song we did. And then there was just bam, 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 bam maybe, up more and more. Uh, I was listening to Devil's Call the other day. There's two versions on it. The Celebrity Junkie one. That one oh, was yeah. off. Huh? Well, my verse was off. I, I was listening to it the other day. Uh, and everything, and that one was off, but the one we did and originally was dope, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We, we have a video for it, too. Yeah, yeah we should I look believe. it up. I, forgot I, want, about that I almost want to down, because you can download the Nightbreed. All his shit. I almost yeah. want to redo it with higher quality. I'm down like to do all it. the same lyrics and shit. But if you do, we got to do it while I'm here. Um, yeah. Just that one. That'll be. We should, that's, that that yeah. could be. The, I could do that. Plus, we have to now we gotta, because we just set it up. Then solidify the, it right there with people the People are going to call us, call yeah. us out on it. But then you had the, the other ones. We'll you had the there. Demon Pages mixtapes. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, um, Demon Pages was started out was well, the first Demon Pages was Demon Pages one. This was um, dropped by me. I, I uh, it was just what I did with you. Like uh, I sent you a beat. I sent everybody beats, 
uh, and then that was me. That was me. I would just go into the, I would just start messaging people. Like that's what I do. I, I don't like have no kind of like, uh, there's no uh, barricade um, blocking me from talking to people. That's one thing I do is I like to network and shit. Uh, that's the only way you're gonna get out there, and you gotta be able to like randomly say this and randomly spontaneously do that and shit and then take risks and chances every now and then uh but you have to in order to fucking like i came out here it was a risk and shit i thought you were a serial killer or some shit <laughs> <laughs> but i had to, i had to get away that's how important i was like man i gotta i I'm gotta change the urge to kill off and i'm like if i do get killed then oh well then shit in the life's life and shit <laughs> but no uh and you've never seen snow no, no, I never. It's still never. It snowed the a uh, couple days, past two days in a yeah. row, but it was just in the morning. It's barely. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. be out of here by by the time it snows. You think or not? In two, in oh, a week, it'll probably week. snow again, maybe. Yeah, I'm we'll hoping see. to see it. That'd be kind of cool. But like uh, the Demon Pages one came out. I was not on it. And yeah. There's people like Nero. I wish we had pictures of it. Mm -hmm. It's. I don't know. I probably could, but I really don't know how to. I got it on how my... to edit and clip shit into this yeah. stuff. I have no idea. Oh, you don't? I can do that. I can help you. I can just, you, just oh, throw yeah? them, you just throw them in. Basically, you... Where, where so, you, where do you, how do you, you load the MP4 into something? Yeah, and then you just lay it on top of the footage, on top of this, uh, of the actual video. Because they got video and then they got the audio. What you do is you just, um, t uh, on top of... The audio on top of the video, you just clip a little picture of the. Oh, so the audio, like, like yeah. we're talking, and that would keep going. Yeah, and, that and would it would going. show like an album yeah. cover of what we're saying. Yeah, exactly. And you would play it over this part on you, but you would put it on top. What of do it. you have to put it in? You have to put it into some program. Uh, any program, that? any video program. Because um, you can't put I got, MP4 into Audacity. Oh yeah, you and can, that's can, the only that. program I know how to use. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so I'm see, like, what the fuck? No, it's like that. It's like Audacity, but on top of it is the audio, is the video, you know, basically. And then you're just piecing. You could like take the audio and fuck with it, and then, or, but just keep the audio going like a, like a, a documentary and fucking. And so that's how like a normal podcast, like a, like another podcast person would know how to do that, mm -hmm. and that's how they can put little. That'd be Clips awesome. Shit. Yeah. Get, take it more like into that world. Uh, but, um, yeah, no. Because the imagery is like, so. anyway, so yeah. Demon Pages 1 came out. I'm not, I wasn't on it. The original Demon Pages 1, it was yeah. like 10 tracks on it or something. De you got it wasn't De like that, 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 uh. It had, uh, let's see, every track had somebody on it. It was featuring somebody. It was almost like all these compilations. But it was present. I, I just never put presented by Cinecure. But uh, it was basically my album, but I just would fucking, I wasn't like a really a good solo man at the time because I couldn't write five verses for one Well, song. I didn't understand the, the I, I, I didn't listen to much rap <coughs> when I had started rapping. It was because mm -hmm. people told me to basically, and I wanted to, but I always wrote poetry, but I never really listened. I didn't know much about the scene of rap music. Yeah, but has so you got a different way. artist on each track, and I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And, yeah. and I'm on it too. I didn't know about mixtapes and shit. And then yeah. I saw like all the a lot of the other people did the same thing, and I didn't understand it. But yeah, it's it, so fucking awesome. It was weird. It was it's nuts. fun. It's like a, it's, it's, it's something like, that's never happened before, actually, because uh, until MySpace hit, that was the time it happened. It, uh, it would have so, been hard to do without MySpace. So back in the day, like in the 80s and 90s, rappers had different ways of networking <coughs> and shit. They usually weren't networking. Everyone was working in their city. Then they would spawn out into the other one. And then until they went to the other place, like physically, then they were able to collab. But like, so <coughs> yeah, they had to physically travel. So you got to think about it. Like when MySpace hit, we were able to contact each other and then send a beat over and then through email. And that's how it all started. And shouts out to Cast to Cast, Nate is Live, uh, Nero, uh, Double A, Ski Res, um, freaking uh, all the oh Grammy J, Grammy J, remember him? Oh, yeah, man. Grammy J, fucking uh, Grammy J, always laid back. Yeah, LSD, the ones with the uh, shouts out to all of them too. Uh, DJ Razor, but like this is a, something that was like invented then in MySpace days. So it was like right so this then is still when new. we were. When when we were doing that shit, it yeah. was just that was the testing ground right then. And because then. basically, uh, like you 
were brought up different than than I was brought up, but but into the the music world, and like uh, so like we meet like in a different like I don't know like we I send a beat if you like it then you spit it and then we killed the we killed the tracks man like it was dope and you were bad too I thought you were like uh um uh you've been doing it for years or something because that's something I, I well I, can't, I was in a way because I musically man, huh? back back to when I was. I didn't listen to rap much, but I wrote poetry since like I was in like seventh grade or eighth grade. And by the time I was, I got married, I had pretended to be rapping and I typed out this sheet and I was like, this would be the album. And I felt retarded. My wife was like, that's actually kind of good. And, it, and uh, <laughs> I didn't think to do it. See, you props. But then yeah. she knew people, a couple other people that rapped and stuff, and I watched them. And I was like, oh, oh I didn't. And know. I had still never did it. I was like, whatever. It's just a thing I'm thinking. Like what age? So then, what age were you? At the time, I was like 22. Yeah. See. So yeah. then I got divorced, and I, I was just kind of had all this free time. You and Jim that. Pressel, yeah, uh, yes. he did. He did. He already did an album with yeah. his cousin. Oh, and shit. he was already, he was someone I already knew and hung out with. Dude, well, what so I, I asked him about it and I recorded a song at his house. And then, what, but what was that? Uh, what was Skeet Rez's album called? Is, is it out? Uh, Blood Loss, Deleted Souls, Blood Loss. The I first got, Deleted Souls. I got, does that have Come Around to you on it? Put the yeah, the original. Oh, come okay. Around. Do you have that one? I want to check it out later. Yeah, I can put it on your, your uh, yeah. USB. For, for real, you could, uh, that was my favorite song too. Because there was, Jim had done the original come around, and then yeah, the man. third deleted souls. I was had the that was the second oh. version. That was like a party anthem. I could have saw that in the clubs. Like that's why I was tripping out. I was like, you know, I like it when people can take it to like the horror core, but also be able to do the clubs. Like I don't. I it could be it. like yeah. a song in the club, but I'm still singing about murder and yeah, and all <laughs> yeah exactly. This crazy shit. It just like, sounded good. Like you know, <laughs> like that flow you guys did was just like I don't know. And then Nero too. Nero was fucking. Dr I could see him whacked like, out yeah. lyrics, man. That's, <laughs> He's nuts. He said some sh some shit. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't call yourself Nero and not be brutal. Because <laughs> for real, but and, and shouts out to Nero. Uh, hopefully. One of these days we could fucking work together again. If, I don't know how to get a hold of him. I looked up his I name. I always wanted to do a show, Deleted Souls and Nero, back in the day. Cause yeah. I'm pretty sure he lived on MySpace. Check this out. Pennsylvania beer. Uh, yeah, these are good. One in Rome. <laughs> type deal. Yeah, Yorkie and Zen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do they have Yangling? No, I've never seen this before. You'd have to go to like a bigger store that has imported Probably Beer yeah, yeah. Bev, Mo. that's because around here, if you go to the bar and ask yeah. for a lager, a lager, that's what they give you. I literally, when I was young, I thought lager was what this beer was called. I didn't know lager was a type of beer. Yeah, and so that's a trip. It you wouldn't say Yingling, you just say, "Can I get a lager?" And in Pennsylvania, they just give you a Yingling because they know. That's because it's yeah. like. It was the first brewery in the country, I believe. What is Ling Ling? And it's Pennsylvania. Yeah, but Ying Ling, what, like, what would that be considered? Sounds almost like a, uh, the Ying, you know what I mean? What would... That's someone's last name. Dude, Ying Ling, that's a trippy. Ling. They, there's literally a Ying Ling ice cream. No way. Really? Is it Because it's the same, it has the same logo. It's, yeah. the, it's like another member of the family <laughs> wanted to make nice. ice cream. So you can, I don't oh, yeah. know if it's still there, but you could literally get Ying Ling. Oh, I want to try some half gallons of ice cream. It's not lager flavor, is it? <laughs> it's just normal. It has nothing to do with the beers. It, just, but is it? It like, was the same uh, family. It's it, weird because it has the same logo and everything. Yingling ice cream. Does it have the this thing too, or no? Or no? I don't know. Okay, I don't think I'm just so. I don't think so. Is it vanilla, or did it have different flavors? Mm, That'd be my second question. Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen it much, and I don't know if they still have it. I don't want to look that up almost. <laughs> nah, almost. Yeah, check it out uh, so we can. Uh, and cut. <laughs> no, it is joke. So we can, let's take a break, Mike. Just joking. So, uh, Shout out to everybody. <laughs> nah, I just play it. That's the kind of moments we have over here. 
my mother. Well, yeah, and then it was. <laughs> nah. So then it was Demon Pages two. Demon Pages Volume Two was bad too. And um, I was on it a bunch, so I was. I was yeah, like, Devil's Cult. <laughs> yeah, we were actually thinking about calling our group Devil's Cult. <laughs> yeah. I did too. Fucking hard to have devil in it and shit. That's kind of fucking brutal. No, I'm just trying. But yeah, <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, so Demon Pages Two came out, and uh, that one was bad, man. Uh, I'm trying to think of the the cover. What was the cover? You remember? The first one was was um, Barlow from uh, Salem's Lot, and uh, freaking I love that fucking character. He was like Nosferatu of the '80s. You know what I mean, oh, Mister yeah. Barlow? I always thought of him as Nosferatu. Is like, that the the one that has like the bluish looking face? Yeah, and the eyes are all like ching. <laughs> I, I don't know what I've never seen it. Yeah, you guys, we gotta watch it. Is it. It's called Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot. Yeah, Toby oh. Ho- Toby Hooper. Shouts out to him. Uh, he. Freaking made that one, and I give him props because after Chainsaw Massacre came out with uh, like Fun House, and then uh, he did Poltergeist also. The oh, original yeah. one, Poltergeist. He did, he did the original. Right. A lot of people don't know about that, but and then uh, he did also. Uh, oh, Toolbox Murders the the remake. Oh, oh, the remake. The remake is good. Yeah, he did a good one. I didn't see it. You got to check that one out. The the remake of Toolbox Murders, and the first one is dope too. And uh, who pretty did lady. The, who did the first one? Oh, that one. Um, anybody? That was just like an American uh, director. I, I'm not sure what his name was actually. That movie is so cold-hearted. Yeah, I know, dude. It's, it's like almost <laughs> it's like, like blue-collar fucking uh, construction worker bashing a chick <laughs> with the fucking uh, nail gun. Oh, but have you seen Nail Gun Massacre? <laughs> dude, you gotta watch that no. one. We gotta watch it. I never seen it. They nail have it on here. Massacre. Yeah, and then Exterminator is fucking. I heard it, one and two is brutal. There's a lot of I movies. Think that I think that's on there. Yeah, on let's watch, we got to check that one out, dude. And then uh, get some more yinglings and shit. Fucking, <laughs> but now, uh, but Toolbox Murders, a shout out to Richard Gein. He was the one that one uh, kind of showed me about that one. He he told me that one was dope and Sav- Savage Weekend and shit. Oh, yeah. But I, I'm going to give props to uh, me right now and then get, uh, give a shout out to me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, but uh, <laughs> freaking uh, uh, just because. Uh, this one movie, oh, Dead Pit. Oh, dude, Dead Pit is my favorite. And uh, me and DJ Razor did a, a couple songs on it. And, dude, we got this one beat. You got to get on it. It's like a par- party anthem. We got to get Skeet Rez, you, and uh, freaking, uh, and then a girl. A girl has to be on it. It's like singing or something. It's fucking dope, dude. And then uh, uh, yeah. and then we'll have Razor on the cuts and shit. And then, me, and then I'll rap. And then we need another rapper. So we'll... It was going to go, I think I'll, I'll probably choose that one later on, but um, you got to hear the beat, though. It's bad. Razor made the beat, and uh, it's fucking sick. I, I did a little preview of it on IG and shit. Oh, yeah, one of my IG pages, the Kill Vorkian one, it's uh, got hacked, <laughs> and they're asking people for the Bitcoin shit, and I'm <laughs> like, great, but it happened to everybody, so it's like, it's just part of the, you know what it is. And uh, it was just one of my, it was one of the pages uh, that I used for, because uh, I have uh, uh, one for my beats, the Usurper, the Usurper beats, and the fucking, then you got the, the Cinekill, and then you got the uh, the Reality Horror one, and uh, IG, and then the Reality Horror Records, uh, sh- oh shit, and then fucking, uh, and then but the Kilvorkian one, that one was just uh, uh, doing the Dr. Kilvorkian one, uh, I have a song called that, so I, I, I named that one out there. So uh, that was my throwaway one. So I just I, I took I took a chance on getting the Bitcoin, you know what I mean? So anybody that gets offered this Bitcoin thing, I should probably just talk about it right now. Uh, it's a scam. They'll tell you to give you um, give us this, and then we'll put five hundred on your cash app. I thought she was gonna put five hundred on my cash app, and so. Uh, and and they, and they get people who are your friends on there. Um, they hack into their pages and then they start talking to their friends. And it's that's what's weird. And I had to just um, mention that just so you know uh, the that Kevorkian one is like hacked, and they're talk talking about the Bitcoin. So uh, and then in, um, night and day, uh, you you got hacked too. I remember. Uh, uh, shouts out to her. She's just an artist too. Uh, and then uh, uh, and then this other artist from. There, she's a literally an artist because she draws. Uh, she got <laughs> hacked, and she's the one that hacked me. <laughs> so it's like, fuck, everybody's hacking and shit. I'm like, I'm about to turn to Joe Pesci and start whacking. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just joking. 
I'm uh, no, I'm just joking. But uh, yeah, so got a shout out to the hacker that <laughs> did that. And you were put on hackers the other day, did you? Oh yeah, hackers, <laughs> yeah. man. You remember uh, that one? Yeah, I love that movie, dude. I do too. Yeah, Angelina Jolie to me was always over. She was like too pretty. She was perfect. You know those perfect <laughs> chicks that are like, uh, whatever. They're just perfect. You move on. But uh, but shouts out to her too because she's a good actress and shit. And her yes, dad. dude, that movie. She's good. I, <clears throat> when I was a kid, I watched that all the time. Me too, I man. It. I love it that. It brings movie. me back to the. There's a lot of movies I watch. Mm -hmm. um, that just bring me back. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part Two. <laughs> 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 You like the vanilla ice scene, probably. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Nah, I'm playing. That is like the only. I love that movie too, though. You got to give props to those old movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? For the time, they did their thing, cause that was pretty big. Uh, the rate. What was it? His name was Razor too, huh? One of the uh, the monsters in part two. We're just. Ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I remember yeah, you talked it about. Was. T Toka and Razor. And Toka and Razor. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, honestly, I oh almost want to watch it again <laughs> just because uh, to get that Razor for uh, and sh so Razor could fucking and use that's that. the one that has the Super Shredder. Yeah, Super Shredder. <laughs> he was badass. Like, Vanilla Ice was kind of, yeah, like the icing on the cake, so to speak. <laughs> vanilla, the Vanilla Ice Cream. What was that movie that, that oh, had Vanilla yeah. Ice Cream? We were going to watch it. Uh, me, it starts off the Split P. Got to give a shout out to Split P2 because me and him used to watch that movie and we'd crack up and we'd be like, <laughs> we'd turn off the voice. we make put it mute and then we'd be doing the voices, like a voiceover. And, uh, but I remember, I remember <laughs> oh, him, like mystery science. He was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, where's my bitches at? <laughs> no, no, but uh, yeah, uh, well, Vanilla Ice was always going like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and then me and my dad started doing that. We're, we'd be like, oh, yo, yep, yep, what's good, G? <laughs> That's one thing me and my dad uh, always did, and my uh, shout out to my brother Tony too. And uh, he was more the uh, mechanic. He followed my dad in the mechanic, and then I followed my dad as the comedian. Me and him had like our humor and shit. So you would like mute movies yeah. and talk over there. Yeah, that's been going down for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and the other day with uh, Razor, um, before I came here, uh, I chilled with Razor, and we were doing the voiceovers for uh, Friday the Thirteenth, the original. <laughs> It was classic. I love doing shit. Like yeah, that. I know. We do that shit too. We were doing it over here the, the other day. Remember, fucking. But like, or uh, sometimes I'll I'll put hey, a what's going on? I'll put a song on and mute it and see if like sometimes their voices will match up. It's oh, easy yeah. with South Park. That is dope, dude. But yeah, I'll, we were watching that. Well, I was watching that fucking uh, Mike Judd thing that you had. That one's fucking bad. Oh, the cartoon, the cartoon, the Beavis and Butthead days, the early yeah. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, fucking nuts. His his way of fucking uh, his animation, the the pointy, flared nostrils and shit, <laughs> fucking that yeah. is sick. And then the fucking the eyes, and then fucking they're all moving and shit. <laughs> I don't know how he does that, but uh, man, that guy is dope. And uh, I remember when I was at uh, my friend Vice's, I shut up the Vice the Antihero. Uh, he showed me that movie, uh, Idiocracy. Have you seen that? Oh yeah, yeah, that was I funny, love that dude. movie. <laughs> their their cigarettes are like this big, <laughs> and they're just watching dumb <laughs> cartoon or dumb it's TV like, shows. It, it's like fucking brutal. <laughs> like the the, way they do that. They feed Gatorade to the plants because mm -hmm. it has electrolytes. It's like the world is and all backwards. The thing, and shit. But the thing here is. It was like the president was like a professional wrestler or some shit. Oh, yeah. And it's like, so like, w what I think of... That was like Ventura, huh? What I think of our our uh, politics is they're all professional wrestlers. Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of nonsense. And that movie showed that, and it was That's like funny. fucking crazy. <laughs> Everything on that movie, I think, is slowly... We gotta watch that shit later. Through. Is it on? I don't do think we... it's on there. Oh, uh, dude. I know I got I got to shoot. That movie's insane. I love that movie. Shouts out to that. Uh, Mike it Judd. makes so many good points, though. Yeah, it's ridiculous, huh? That's what it is. It's just all ridiculous. Fucking Trump and shit. Nah, but uh, not Trump, but uh, all of it. You know what I mean? I, I don't. I'm not hating on nobody. I'm just fucking a rapper and shit. So all, yeah. I don't vote. So if I if I voted <laughs> if, if I voted, I would care, but I don't care no more. No, I'm just saying that movie was fucking insane. It was yeah. like a predictor and shit. Yeah. No, yeah. I fucking love that movie, man. But yeah, no, uh, but yeah, I don't vote or anything, but oh, and then, maybe one day I'll vote. But I don't even care, though, if I vote. I don't know what the fuck matters. Do you vote? 
<laughs> nah, yeah, I know. Politics can't go into that. I don't want to go into politics. Because then Sinekyo needs to be president. Because <laughs> then that's what he, horror, uh, or honestly, he's I really think horror core. Yeah, horror core rock and music. You'd be playing in all your schools. And <laughs> that's joking. It's funny mm. because I, when I did, when I rapped, I was like, I need to do, I was like, I want to make some serious songs. Well, and it was so, it was so hard. I'm like, dude, I get, it's real easy for me to just sing yeah. about horror, sing horror. Chords. I can't believe how easy. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't it do it. It, 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 it seemed like I thought it's easy I, to in it. my head, I was like, I want to. I want to sound like a real rapper, or however yeah. I was thinking about it. Well, you got, and I tried to change the content, and, uh -huh. I, and it just wasn't natural. I naturally yeah. just like to sing about blood like, and guts, murder, <laughs> and <play>. blood <laughs> and guts. Uh -huh. mm. That happened to me. I remember that. So you started feeling different because you were singing about the horror. Think, well, what, what do you think about that? Because yeah, I've well, had a battle, like, I've battled that whole deal. Like where you, it's you're, like like trying trying to. To do different shit. Yeah, yeah. I want to do different shit too. I, I think here and there. Reality. Well, I've done a lot of different shit. Yeah. But I think the easy. We could see. Yeah. That, I yeah, heard that shit. Seed. We I could see was good. That. I got to see the interview you get you do with them too. Because I saw it the, um, yesterday on YouTube. Yeah. I was going through the thing. I was like, oh shit, I got to check this one out. But uh, the stuff you did with them, um, are you guys still together or later on you're going to do it? an album again with them or not i'm not sure we we were together like two years and we did that album and Shit, there was like idea. another another one that had four songs or something the like ep it. you and don't it, have that had oh. two of the same songs redone redone two extras oh okay but i never i didn't have it that'd be sick on vinyl and she you know like how shout out to it. necro to necro Fucking, uh, you talked to him before, huh? With the, about the vinyl, you, you said you wrote him. Yeah, he sent He's me. A cool a, dude. This is a long time ago. He He's sent cool me a dude. link because I told him vinyl. Since you have like a more cult following, I think I think vinyl would sell. And he sent me a link and said, "There's some European country that has limited editions." You should show them. Uh, so I got yeah. three of them. Damn. The gory days, the I need drugs, oh. and the. It was in a remix one. Man, got this Whatever one his name is. Remix. I just got to show these. Uh, and I really remix. don't think they made them very long. That one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that shit out. Necro probably wouldn't mind you showing that shit, promoting <laughs> that. Shout out I to can't, him. I can't get the. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Mo oh, whatever. Shit. Morlock plus remixes. Is Necro. That is classic. We need to put this one so, right there. Boom. I think. I put the over raw. Because fucking shout out. Yeah, and micro, I don't man. think you can really find that. It's probably not even on YouTube. I don't know why, but that's dope, dude. And yeah, this is the one I got. This is the original one that I heard from Necro in 2000. Uh, this is what changed the game for me. Was this, the, this, this, this album? Yeah, this was one of the most important uh, albums, probably that changed the game. And then, and then, of course, this one right here too. Uh, that one was good. Uh, Wu Tang, all the well, Wu Tang and Wu Tang Forever. Those are dope. You got some Bjork too. <laughs> yeah, Bjork is dope because uh, she takes chances and risks and, and like an artist. I think Bjork has the She's best awesome. voice of any artist ever. She's bomb. She's dope. And Portishead too. I like Portishead and fucking Radiohead and fucking uh, Tricky. Tricky's bad. Trip hop. I think I'm going towards more of the trip hop now instead of the horrorcore. As I get older, trip hop is the the uh, next step. I think. Uh, yeah. I, I've always loved trip hop. Honestly, like I used to watch a show called Amp, and uh, on MTV. Did you ever watch that? It was around the Headbangers Ball days. Oh yeah. Yeah, and Dead Dead at Twenty One. If if anybody's ever seen Dead at Twenty One, back in the day, it was like Beavis and Butthead era. Fucking brutal. Uh, shots out to oh they they were the dog. <laughs> shots out to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay, I'm not gonna say it again. I would, like, I would like to give a shout out to all the shout yeah, outs. Shout out, shout out the out. shout out guy. <laughs> Call me the shout out interview <laughs> special <laughs> edition and not nice start MC shout out. Mm. I'm never gonna do that again. That's a lot of time. <laughs> Get awkward now. Sorry. Uh, no, but uh, Dead at 21 though, man, that was a good program. It was about a guy who got a microchip in his brain oh, when yeah. he was a baby. There was like certain babies that got the microchip or something, and he was one of them. And by the time he turned 21, his head was gonna explode. And it had like Allison Chains. As the uh, man in the box, what was it called? It Dead at Twenty One. Oh, and Alice, uh, man in the box was the theme song. It's fucking sick, dude. It was like the illest fucking show. 
And it had the guy from Idle Hands. Um, oh, it was a show, not a movie? It was a show, oh, yeah, on MTV. Okay. On MTV. Uh, look it up. It's on uh, YouTube. It's pretty cool. And uh, it had the guy from Idle Hands, but the, uh, you know, not the, the main character, but the other guy, you know, the guy that drove the truck, he had long hair. He was, do you remember that guy? Yeah. Oh, he, man. He was on. Uh, I've seen that movie so many times. He was on Brady Bunch. He was on uh, a lot of movies. He he had a cool look to him. But uh, but shout out to, uh, <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. But, yeah, shout out to this beer right here. Not even. Mm. Pennsylvania beer. Ah, cheers. Ah. Where's it's my the only beer ah. you drink? <laughs> yeah, it's the only beer I drink. <laughs> this is good. He brought over some Budweiser. And I couldn't drink that. I was like, ah, I can't it's drink that. It's understandable. Sorry, <laughs> nah, yeah, no, nah, but uh, but yeah, no, nah, these are good too, man. They don't have these in California. I've never seen daiquiris. Just they give them to you <laughs> and then let you walk around. And it's funny because when they first came out, they'd have them at like the gas stations. And no as way. long as the sticker is over top, yeah. it's not con considered an open container. Yeah. Once but you pull the sticker off, it's considered an open container. But you can always pop the top, like, bam. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, boom. But here's the thing. And then water it down. You really think anyone stopping at a gas station to yeah. get a slushie is not just going to drink it? Yeah, it. exactly. It's ridiculous. That is funny, dude. Gas stations. Man, they're brutal. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but we we got these everywhere, and the thing with the slushies is they're stronger than yeah than anything. Well, they're they're delicious and shit, and they're, they're like delicious. they go good with like, like everything basically. <laughs> and, uh, fucking um, and then the Yingling too, and then get one of these, and it, it washes it down real nice and shit. These are equivalent to maybe a uh, to me a Corona. Uh, the, the Corona in the bottle. I don't even know what to call them. I don't even really drink, really. I'm just working. I, I, I used to drink heavy, but there came a time where, nah, I didn't want to drink. I was like, nah, I just stopped drinking. But yeah, no, uh, but yeah, this is good though. I like it. It's probably for the best, man. Seriously, those are good. Uh, but, um, so I what else? Chicken, man. Oh, the chicken I'm at third base. Chicken. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, and then the French fries. It's French fries with the Parmesan. I want to get some of those later. And then fucking uh, and the pizza. I want to get a pizza with the uh, pepperoni. Yeah, I've been getting it with oh, all yeah. cheese, all cheese. Up, up at uh, Big Mouth. Yeah, Big Mouth is bomb. It, what's dope is that you're like right in the center. Well, I mean, you're like in a good area where you're uh, you're covered basically. You know what I mean? Everything. Yeah. So you got everything. Like and then now, the right now, good. I lost my license. Yeah. So I can walk to a grocery store. Fuck yeah. You know, I, I have, and then I live right next to the highway, so I can yeah. get Fuck yeah. a bunch no. of places. <laughs> Dude, I almost want to fucking uh, get into that mode of uh, riding and shit. I just fucking riding on fucking tracks and shit. But actually, um, I haven't written anything here. I wrote one um, one word. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I just like smoking. Because honestly, it's just a vacation. <laughs> I gotta, uh, you can't take music serious. Once you take music serious, then uh, you gotta kind of like realize the music is your hot. You gotta love music and do it for the love of it. But when you put it in your mind that it's anything more than than that, then it turns into a, a, a pressure. Yeah. And, a pressure. And, and I know I do that to myself a lot. I've, and it's like. And I've learned the most here because I've, I've done it to myself here. And, and I was doing it to myself there, but it took me to come here to realize uh, at any moment we could do this, like, uh, we could get in the studio and do it and write the rhymes. I don't have to be, like, practicing every day and shit, you know what I mean? Because when you got practice, I mean, in a band, you got to practice every day and all that. And you got to do practice that's every, what, for that's a show. That's what's tougher, like, uh, for a rock band. Yeah. They have to do They have you to. You can't not practice. Cause, and it has to be consistent. Yeah. Like, at least every week. So it's a lot harder, you know, to play an instrument and to in sync with all the other instruments. That's fucking harder. I would yeah. think. You got to talk with your hands and shit. But uh, so yeah, no. Nah. But practicing is good. Yeah, if you're doing shows, you got to practice. And uh, and shout out to people who do the time. <laughs> now, uh, but I got to give a shout out to uh, people in general. People are cool. I I'm cool with everybody. Like uh, I, I like uh. I like people and stuff. <laughs> no, I'm just trying. I just I think I'm starting to get buzzed all early. <laughs> Maybe this snuck up on me or something. 
It's the day. I'm telling you, it's the slushies. I, I gotta get some more pizza. There's something evil about the slushies. We gotta like order a pizza and, and, and then it'll soak it up. <laughs> I ate some Wendy's earlier. It was pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, I should walk up oh. there. Um, shout out to Wendy's too. <laughs> <laughs> the Baconator in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, dude. Oh, man, I'm hungry. Oh yeah, I've been coming over here. I've been eating out good and shit. Uh, like we've been buying food and shit all day. Like not buying just like shitty food, but like actually good food. I feel like I'm I'm getting healthier and shit. So that's another good thing about um coming over here. It just it's been a big uh, mental uh, reliever and uh, body fucking. And I'm like I'm starting to work out again and shit. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm proud of it. And shit, I gotta just give uh, give you a thanks for that one. The hospitality has been good, and uh, everybody, all your friends are cool. Shouts out to Pat. <laughs> and uh, freaking, uh, what was the other guy's name? He was cool. Uh, Josh. Yeah, Josh. What up, man? And uh, Ski Res. And uh, hopefully meet, uh, meet, meet uh, uh, Kyler. Oh, yeah, Kyler. That reminds me of uh, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Remember Kyler? <laughs> it was the killer guy. <laughs> the guy with fucking killer on his forehead. They're all, hey. Is that what his yeah. name was? Yeah. They called him Kyler. <laughs> yeah, fucking because they're like awesome. You know, Beavis and Butthead and shit. I used to love that show. Oh man, dude, I love that show. You it know, was like everybody. When yeah. I would watch that, I'm like, that's how I want to be. Yeah, me too, dude. <laughs> yeah, it made you not pressure. It put the pressure not on you. It's like, man, this is how we should be living in the in, in reality. Yeah, because they don't. They're, they're, they're not. They're not they responsible for anything. They're not worried. And that, I think that's the attraction is they don't have yeah. anything to bother doing. You get, in the end, you gotta really think about that. Yeah, be, do what business butthead did and shit. <laughs> what would business butthead do? Or, <laughs> but uh, you can't. But yeah, yeah, you can't do that. Like the, the rat lighting or put dipping the rats in the in the <laughs> frying oil and shit. But like, uh, not 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 giving so much uh, uh, freaking negative uh, thinking and shit or whatever. I would say maybe. Well, they they weren't really negative. They were just talking about tits and shit, and ass <laughs> and shit. They were wanting to score, and shit, but nah. Uh, and then uh, but remember, they didn't have anything they had to do, and like we yeah. we have shit we have to do. That's true, man. So I think that's why it's fun to watch. And it's like who took care of them? You know, I mean, they just had a they house. They never shared their <laughs> fucking parents. <laughs> yeah, ever, I did. ever on the whole thing. That was those. And classic. they watched the coolest music videos. <laughs> yeah, Crowbar. That's yeah. why I shot. <laughs> oh, dude, no more shot. Crowbar, uh, and, crowbar, uh, dude. Fuck, man. Oh man, Rowan, I... Rowan's band. I remember on there. Yeah, Rowan. Oh yeah, I'm a liar. Yeah, I'm a liar. Dude. Where he's oh. painted red. Yeah, Rollins is that dope. shit's awesome. I like Rollins. I can respect him because, it, it, you know what I mean. You gotta have mo role models when you're like, if you're completely sober, that's my role model right there. <laughs> Somebody like that, because uh, or straight edge or whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah, he, it's cool being like that. He's a cool dude. Like he's like straight up. Like his mind. He lives point. a hard fucking life though. Like he like tortures himself in a way. I feel yeah. like. Well, I don't know. What do you mean? Yeah, he just, but, he just doesn't like. Uh, he just likes being straight edge. Like yeah, he probably, doesn't. But he to doesn't, a certain like pro straight edge, almost. He's, di he's disciplined. I guess. Discipline, yeah. That's a trip. I, I give props to people with discipline, and shit. All that discipline. But now, um, so yeah, yeah, that's oh, something. Um, that's like a high of its own, you know what I mean? Probably. Actually, yeah. When yeah. you're, you're totally. When you're too. taking care of shit. Yeah, handling it, handling it all and shit. It's almost like. Because who doesn't want to not handle shit? <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you gotta be in the middle and shit. But no, uh, so yeah. You're showing me some. Oh, but Crowbar, man. Fuck, yeah, we've dude. been listening to Crowbar. Dude, they're the best. Like, oh, man. Stuff. Dude, that's all I could say. Fucking. And Pantera. Marcus Crowbar Pantera. and Pantera. Fuck, man. I had to be playing my metal. Yeah, no. Nah. And, and Crowbar is my shit. You know what I mean? I love that. But all, right, all the shit you've been playing is pretty dope. That What was that? That E Street? What was that East East that one play? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> nah, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't even know what it was called, but uh now all the other bands uh see uh 
Oh, Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best one. Oh, I know what you're ta- saying. E Town. Yeah. E Town Concrete. Where are they from? Yeah, E Town Concrete. Uh, it's not like because it, Midwest or no? Around here, if you say E Town, you're talking about Elizabeth, Elizabeth Town or whatever the fuck. Yeah. They're not from. Yeah. I don't know, but that's what they're called. That's cool. Concrete. They're pretty good. Uh, there's King Magnetic. Remember King Magnetic? Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. But he's from like around the area. Uh, Got to give him a shout out too, because we're supposed to do a track with him pretty soon. Uh, and then freaking uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, that one. Uh, what else we got to promote? Oh yeah, Reality Horror. Uh, Reality Horror uh, Records. Uh, Usurper Beats, Sir Chops a lot, fucking. Uh, Sir Chops a lot. We gotta play okay, a little sample of something, uh, uh, and like let them know what, what's going down. Maybe I'll put it on my phone if it if it goes on. Let's see if it goes on. Oh yeah, you can uh, you can play our shit. Yeah, let's play some and samples. And maybe I don't really know, but I always tell people they can't play other people's music. Yeah, I don't know my so my buddy. Had a small portion of a Sublime plate in his thing, and they Whoa. flagged it for copyright. That's why I tell people that. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do that. We they, can play our fucking. They they music did that to me one time. Want. They did that to me one yeah. time too because I I freestyled to like a, a, a fucking Nas song or some shit like that. Oh, so it did. Yeah. It is like it, hardcore. Yeah, okay. it's it literally. That's what I thought, but it, it's literally a machine that fucking gets the song. Yeah. Okay. It. Yeah. yeah. That's you, what I was trying to say. Yeah, I didn't know if I was right though, because it seems a little extreme. They, they are extreme, it, but and so is IG. Like uh, they, they got like cops and shit on there, and like you know what I mean. They go through the, the messages. The copyright, or but our shit's ours, so there is no copyright on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, our shit's ours. Like we shot a video too. Remember that one video? Oh yeah. We'll just call it uh, Undisputed Druids video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because, uh, uh, but uh, that was the first video. We're supposed to shoot one more. And then. Uh, Maybe take to the graveyard. Yeah, well, there's the graveyard. A, there's such a kick ass pro- graveyard. Prospect Hill uh, Cemetery. Yeah. Oh, man. That's like legendary. That's like one of the first cemeteries, probably. It's, like, it's fucking awesome because they have the, what do you call it? A the mausoleum. mausoleum. Yeah, it's already they built. They have those big, it's like a fucking house like, made out of concrete oh, by some asshole that's rich. <laughs> Hey, and yeah. it's like a grave. So keep me in a mausoleum. <laughs> and the one has two guy. like sphinx, two like sphinxes. Oh yeah, you did on a either right step, there. and and it's like it's really so awesome. excessive. Holy shit! Can you walk in there? I don't know. No, yeah, no. But I, I do know the can, very yeah, other end yeah, is the grave of Brickers from Brickers French fries. Really? I don't know if you have that. Oh no, that's probably a local thing. Do they have a? Uh, they were they're fries? like French fry. What? The, What's uh, people that would be at carnivals and shit? Oh, okay. Like a stand or at the beach. Damn. You know what I mean, that's, that's a brutal a, life, like so a carnival and shit. The guy that made that over there. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. carnival people do because they don't stay in one place very long. Yeah, those are and trippy. they really don't make a whole lot of money. Imagine those people. So they're basically just crazy maniacs. That they're like <laughs> double A and sneak out walking around. I was a carny for. <laughs> For like two weeks. That was my first job. Holy Carnival. shit. I can see and you. I, and I saw, I witnessed it. Because oh. I'm like, these people have to travel for two hours to get to work. They're like gypsies. They're not like. Gypsies almost. Yeah, they're they're yeah. not like fucking. That's why I see them outside. They don't there. make much money. And they constantly travel. So they're just, they, they're, they do it because that's what they have to do. They're, they're nomadic. Crazy. Nomadic and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Some people are just so all that. they really do is like eat pizza and party. <laughs> <laughs> That's their whole life. Cash in the tokens and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking dude. Fucking trippy man. That, that to me that's a weird. That's a trippy. I not, couldn't not do weird, that job. Yeah, that's rough. Those like, guys got a lot of them. I pray fucking just take off or some shit. Or maybe they're normal. Yeah. But not not from what I saw. I think they're all like fucking. Because the the the. They have to get money, basically. The, the the stipulations they have to put on themselves is like, I gotta drive two hours yeah. without pay, start set all this equipment up, oh and then God. try to get money two from hours? people, and uh. then then try to get people to play these stupid games for X amount of money, and then I gotta drive somewhere else. Like that can't be. That's not an ideal situation. Oh yeah, because they do that because they're crazy people. 
The only ones that get to <laughs> get to travel are the main attractions, right? You know what I mean? Get to travel with the, the actual people. But uh, I would think they would be all going on the same thing. I just think you have to have some kind of... Yeah. I always thought they would get a motel. Of, uh, some kind of personality to be able to do that. Definitely, for sure. You'll... Uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, develop some character for sure. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that is a cool job, dude. I, honestly, I wouldn't mind being one of those. That'd probably be a cool job for maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe they do it for guys. a couple of years, <laughs> yeah, and then kind of settle down because yeah, that would be some cool. Chicks, meet some you chicks. Do, yeah. yeah, definitely. Because they're and then you yeah. you're traveling to different states. Yeah, and shit. It reminds me of uh, and huh? if you wanna if you wanna travel and shit like yeah, that, that is, is a good job. It is cool. But especially if you're a rapper, you could do it for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you yeah, sneak yeah. out of the carnival to go do a show while kids are falling <laughs> off the fucking side. Yeah, don't <laughs> even charge for it and shit. <laughs> Come on, man, you're carny. You're not a rapper. <laughs> but no, freaking out. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, well, what, well, the carnival around here, mm -hmm. they have they'll have country bands playing and shit. Why not have a horrorcore carnival? Oh yeah, they they play country music and that's not not the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see them as listening to shitty music. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Probably listening to like Jessica Simpson and shit. <laughs> no, oh, it's, it's just the type of people around here. That Which, Jessica what, Simpson's That's what would like, like, like be the easiest thing. You should probably listen to, they probably listen to Rob Zombie. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. My, <laughs> my favorite ever. Oh, Rob Zombie's the best. <laughs> well, I would think because Captain Spaulding, you know what I mean? He's like from the circus and shit. But no, nah, I like a uh, house on the uh, the thousand corpses was good, and uh, I tried watching thirty one, and I can't get past the intro. The guy was just talking the whole time. I'm like, damn, I felt like kill. Like, is he gonna do this the whole movie? I felt like <laughs> I felt like kill third. Chop the like first like ten minutes off. The first. <laughs> this is how much of a not. This is how much of a not sellout I am. Yeah. This guy was about to start a label that seemed legitimate, <laughs> and I put had a song on a compilation and had a four a forty minute intro of some weird yeah. clip where a woman was screaming in Spanish. Oh, um, forty minutes. And he said, "Cut it." He said, "You you you got to cut the yeah. intro down to just a little bit because it's too long." Yeah. And I cut that intro down a yeah. tiny bit and sent it, and I was like, "That bitch told me what the fuck to do." Yeah. Fuck that. That was the time. I want a forty-minute clip of some woman screaming in Spanish yeah. before the song. That's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> yeah, that's how much. So I, you know, and it was a legitimate request on his part. Yeah, I think. But <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I don't like being told what the fuck to do. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, that was when we're we're getting out of the deal with uh, with with that because because Demon Pages one came out, Demon Pages two came out, and then Demon Pages three dropped, and. I can't remember what that looked like. I'm trying to think of Jim Page 3. Oh, yeah, Jim Page 3. Okay. It was almost like, I think you... Well, I was full-blown in the shows by Jim Page 3. And so, like, uh, I got with uh, Killator, and then I was about to drop Nightmare and Damaged Brain. And then I dropped Nightmare and Damaged Brain, and then I, I, I went to... That one was a beast. Yeah, that was brutal, huh? <laughs> that, that, by that time, from Jim Page's 1... To the to a nightmare and a damaged brain, uh, that was like when we were like at our fucking ultimate like decapitating fucking the the beats and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we were fucking literally like Shogun assassin, fucking uh, style fucking da 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 da. And the track list that one was like what 20, 20 tracks. It still had every uh, it featured was, like twenty people on each song. Yeah. That yeah. was the epitome of of uh, when we were doing our thing like. Fucking that one, and, and, and that one was cool. And I could always look back at those days and be like, yeah. And the No Mistakes track. Yeah, No Mistakes. That was yeah. when we should me, play a clip. Skeet, Rez, Unknown Bone, Cynical, yeah. Split P, Natus Live, Cassie Fish. Cassie, yes, yeah. And the Grammy J. I really wish I knew how to edit this shit better, but you can play it on the phone. Yeah. I don't know shit about yeah. the video. Yeah, we'll play on the phone right now. You yeah, you can it. play whatever on there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, is Nate is live going to get up? Oh, Ski Rez is going to get on the No Mistakes, right? The part two? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, cool. Yeah, I believe it'll end up that way. That's going to be dope. 
freaking uh yeah and uh that's what's cool i got here i wrote i did four songs already so i'm pretty happy about that I'll, by the end the time i leave i want to have at least six more tracks i think i'm going to pump them out uh whenever in the next couple of days uh but they're already lined up i already got them yeah and i'll leave them i'll leave everything uh with the open verse and uh we'll we, when i leave and shit i'll tell you you could and then you could pick up where i left off and shit uh, okay let's see yeah, that RHR man. Shout out to uh, Venomous Villain. Uh, he's on the label too. Yo, Sludgy uh, Asylum <laughs> Monster. Sludgy Asylum. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta hear this part. I love Crowbar, man. Shout out to Crowbar. <laughs> nah, sure. We should do an album called Shots Out. I <laughs> get. <laughs> So like, uh, so we got Nightmare and Damaged Brain came out. Then oh, I went to Killator. Killator wanted to do a greatest hits of all my stuff, so he did. He whipped together a, a, a thing called Demon Pages Volume One, and that was the official Demon Pages Volume One as far as uh, being uh, having the hard copy. So that, that okay. So I did. I remember that. Yeah. Like so it was like you were redoing it. I was redoing it. Yeah. It and then volume. And then volume two. That was me on Butcher Beat Productions because I was on Brain Damage on the Demon Pages Volume 1. And then when Volume 2 came out, uh, I was on Butcher Beat Productions. Ruckus uh, uh, did all the mixing and mastering and uh, did a good job, too. That's when I did uh, Audition right there. Oh, uh, that yeah. was when Audition. That was the, the hit song Audition video and classic. I, I think I and that one's a classic. I remember that. I did that one at uh, the Capadonna and Sean P., you know Sean P. We opened yeah. up for Sean P. before he died, and uh, oh, freaking, that must have been awesome. Yeah, me and Nate is live. I split P. We were on. Uh, we opened up for Sean P. So that was always an honor, you know what I mean? And uh, so that was one of our best shows we ever did. And fucking uh, uh, and then so and then that was when part volume two came out, Demon Pages, and that was on BB BBP Butcher B Productions, and uh. And then volume three, I want to come out on Reality Horror Records. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, the official volume three. There wasn't an official There was a, never a volume, because I want to complete Demon it. Demon Pages 3. I do trilogies. I like doing trilogies. Because right now you're doing the tombs. Yeah, tombs. Yeah, tomb three. Also, look, check it out. Tomb three. Yeah. And then um, all, all the releases, all you see, the mixes that uh, Razor's putting out, well, those are all tombs. Uh, we got a number on properly, but um, right now I'm throwing three more tunes in their mixes. And the one, it's it's like a the one, and I'm I'm seeing it right. The one has Isham. Yeah, Isham. Just Allah. Just Allah's on it, and uh, he's on one of the mixes. There's like so many mixes, but like they're all on it. And uh, one of these days we're gonna get together and, and revolume, revolume up, revolume up. Up or whatever, <laughs> revolume them, and, and then uh, we're gonna name those. Uh, this is gonna be the Tomb franchise, basically, and it's gonna have all Razor's mixes because uh, we just gotta get together and, and um, what do you call it? Rename some certain ones just to keep them in track, and uh, and then uh, but all of the mixes from Razor right now, um, even the Darkness one, that's all uh, on the Tomb. Basically, it's it's hard to explain, but Tomb Three is like there's multiple tombs. There's like eight, twenty hours of tomb. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we want to get you on that more of the uh, all the songs that like when I leave, you're gonna record, huh? You're gonna knock it out, and then freaking whatever songs are there. I'm yeah, do get in your mode and fucking knock like twenty of them out, and then fucking uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna knock six more out, so I'll leave us with ten. And then I want you to uh, master those if you can, and do it, and then release them. Give them, but give me a copies and shit and all that. You know, we'll have all the copies, and then uh, yeah, it really just don't, won't take me long to yeah. Me shut, give give you um, props on that too because taking care of that because that helps me out because then I don't got to worry about that. Now I can just spit it and then I have move an on. obsession over the mastering mm -hmm. because it drives me crazy. I could never find the perfect sound. Cause yeah. there's no such thing. Yeah, no. But yeah, I, yeah I, I have that. Like, but I, like I that. have to do it anyway. That's good because uh, <laughs> uh, that to me those are the best people because the perfectionists are trying to like make it uh, 
sound perfect. But to I've me, that it, sounds good. I've narrowed it down to a specific recipe that I just throw on everything. Then you don't have to stress about it all yeah. the time. Okay. To make it less yeah. stressful. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Because you can, if you make a, if you make a bunch of songs and they all have different sound quality, yeah. and then you try to compile them, it's rough. Yeah, no, I feel you. And so that's the mistake I think everybody makes. I've made the whole time. So <laughs> now I've got this idea, like, I'm never doing that again. Awesome. It was awesome, man. Like, uh, I'm glad that you chop it up. Like, you do the editing, and then Razor does the uh, the DJing and the blending and all that. When they're done, you give them to him. And then you chop it up, and then I do the beats. And then fucking, and then I'll lay the lyrics, too, and on certain ones. Uh, but I want you, yeah, like... Uh, I'm doing what I can for lyrically, but I want mainly I want to do the beats and shit. And I like how you chop them up. So I sent and I left you all the new beats on the on your computer so you could uh, chop them up. And then all the other ones you, that you still have on the other one, chop those up with them. But and some of them don't even need chopping up. Huh? You just like add little clips to it. Yes. Yeah. It do do the little do work your magic. That's basically um, it and shit. And then uh, and yeah. And then from this when I leave from here. Dude, it's going to be another chapter. It'll be a Where fucking, do you think you're headed, Texas? Yeah, I'm going to go to Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, Cutthroat uh, said, uh, I, I got to go to Cutthroat's, um, do a couple of tracks with him. So I've been saying it for a while. So uh, I've been talking to him. He's cool with it. And then from there, I'm, I, I might go um, back home or I might I might just go um, to Florida. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, I got another artist that wants to work together. So. In Florida. Yeah. Uh, but that's like, uh, uh, that's maybe right there. But that's, dude, that's actually travel. like travel. for, uh, if you are going to take a portion of your life and travel, yeah, and you hit it. Pennsylvania, Texas, yeah. and Florida. So that's cool. covering a good bit of <laughs> Yeah. And if I could, if I could squeeze in one more, <laughs> I would go to out, uh, New York. If I yeah. could go chill with like an ID and shit, fucking. He told me to hit up the studio with him if I ever go down there. Oh, I yeah. might even just hit hit him up uh, after uh, after Texas or something. I don't know, just because. Uh, but that's in Queens and shit. I, I gotta talk to him and shit because I would have to crash at his pad and shit. Who knows how that is? <laughs> and luckily, uh, yeah. Now that's what's cool about uh, um, Cuddy and shit. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut this part. Do it. Do you think, do you think uh, like, if you were to edit part, would you just push pause? Uh, yeah. And then unpause? Yeah, unpause. I used to do that. That's it? That's it. And then you, you edit it later on, too, if you edit it also. Hmm. That's what you were just about to do. We did it if you want. No, I don't want to show right now. It's like, what? I like it so far. Oh, it's a friend. It's
You either have my money or your head. I am bashing. I got that motor. She says, I call it gay if you ain't got nothing to say. Stop following me like I was stuck in her way. Duck tape across her face, slamming her down. Who the fuck's giving a fuck now? The nature it ain't never gonna stop. Forever smoking pot, forever trying to escape this fake on reality. Something and immorality, not astounding me, not founding me. I built my house on top of an assumption that this world is more tolerable. My head in concussion. How many times and how many wise piece of goddamn cold? I'm not just bold to have to be, but I could be so bold. Double made a type of damn scene to fuck me up. Drink, 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 half, but I'm fucking slut. Make no mistake. Believe the children should have killed me. I was afraid. Across their face, deleted souls ain't stopping, bitch. Come get a taste. Sick of red slaves, but you were based. You ain't really drinking beer. Unless you drink it in case. I want you on this mattress, woman. And yes, these are handcuffs. I want you beating in the head with this Billy Club. I want you choking on it. I want you dead. I want you buried. Six feet under 20 bullets in your head. What's the point of you ain't saying what you're thinking? Cause saying bullshit will get a key across your leg. What's the point of and I'm sick of all the bullshit, and I'm sick of being. Show my tape. I mean, tape. Now that I got your real listen up a clear potentially in your heart is where I strike fear. Why the demons cheer? Cause cheer just a shit smear. On the bottom of my dog, dragging through the rug, giving a meat meat. Even my gates are up, it's up in the pants. You're about to make a float out of two coke cans. Some bread in the bottom of Trano. But they know to say no, and they know the real deal. But me on the other hand, I do what I feel. Need to get high, store it up, run control pill. Haven't got the money, resorting to still going to jail for enjoying a meal. What's the deal with this? Just not thinking at all. Stalking people at the mall, straight up to the cars. All of them, they got my ass kicked by a Puerto Rican grandma. As I think later on, what I become, society now just labels me a bomb of them. Thinking then, stick to myself, but at least I got my health. Then I ain't no mistake. Strangle you with a belt until you slowly shake. Life comes at you fast with a big blast. At last, the chance to climb out of this hole. But you're haunted by your past, and if I bring just call you gas. So you grab an axe and start chopping at your problems and smoke them away. I never saw what the task is to relieve the stress, but you never believe the best. You see right through the rest. Ain't no prestige, clean the fingerprints, no evidence to see that the killer scene doesn't exist. The Twitter went watching through your main serial killer gotta happen. Mysterious torture with me. The men in the court catch that brain, no judgment clearly. Nothing
to kill the deleted souls as the gasoline is fired.
given all these demotions, what is your personal religion? Or do you, is there any type of God to you? Like, is there a purpose, given that we're just sitting on this speck in the middle of this sea of stars? No, I don't want to duck any questions. <laughs> and I'm not going to duck this one. Even though I have a person in you who are a close friend of mine in this room. Um, but let me ask you, what do you mean when you use the word God? And the I guess. And the castle stays the same. And the father tells the mind, way more 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 way after the day longs, after the day longs, after the day longs, come over you. Thank 
He from second hand smoke, so I sat down on the carpet and started to write this first best slate of hand and some tricks in the pen. Then stand him all the premeditated slate and style we elevated. Carbon copies, hella hated. Metro renegades rocking mics. Whatever we say, we'll stay that tight. Most transmissions are post dated, sloppy and inebriated. Cut off and then excommunicated. It's all how you say it. Run off with the rhyme that's saturated. Cause you wanna play it. Angelino setting the whole verse down to the last neutrino. Subtitle aka Rick Felix, but you can call me Gino. Most of like this are real simple. That's why we can cope with it. No one else can rock a beat until we are done with it. Hard like armadillos. It's pretty ludicrous to think that life can't exist. Way out here in subspace. Way out here in subspace. Hard like LAs. L3. Let's go. Number one. Is this straight out there? Yeah, that's me. You get to the truth about the freak. Then we'll bring these tech bars from the music. Start to rehab at least 10 weeks. I'm sitting in therapy with the thing geeks. I'm looking around with the art physique. I realize that I'm up shit creek. I'm about to call the homie. Bleak off bar bar wall with the mic technique. And I'll beat you off the dark while I sleep. I watch the girl and let her weep. I kind of laugh because I'm kind of a creep. My angle on love now kind of steep. And back in the head because I'm ready to leave. But I'm trying to be a rock and face. Ready to go spin it all up like a straight leg. Lay to shake out. I got a big stop. I know we're going to put a nice every day. Out, out, out. Out into the bodies of turmoil and despair. Despair. We are the chosen few. Collaborate, combine the crew. Lucas Chandler, checking in. Wreck the mic, we recommend. Oh, hell no, y'all. No. Come on now, we ain't fucking around. Walking around and having a ball. We're talking to town, I ain't fucking with y'all. Fabulous, scandalous. I show five the time what stamina it is. Now slow it down, keep it tight. We're trying to call the original is on the mic. The minimal, the pitiful, they want to bite. Me, I'm a homie, steady tight like a kite. That's right. The imagery is visceral, it's all denied. Want to rap on the top, not back to pipe. I am from the west side of town. In my opinion, the best side around. I'm like all the rest, we ride around, make a money compound and try to clown, steal the bases, sliding around, trying to score before the bottom of four, making the floor seem upside down, y'all call me the king, yeah, give me my crown. <laughs> Position one to 
you know where I'm at, it's keep faking the real season one And you know where I'm at, your ghost love me limbs Stash up my way, never show up my ears Delivered in trunks and back in my charge Feeling so high that I was pushing the bins When they get stacked, cloud it gets packed Never go flash, you don't know how to act Think it's keep faking the real ones attack But for season one, and you know where I'm at Central Coast love me, yeah, we smoke it on the beach Lift it up, I'm making the sun is out of reach. Sitting up above me, and it gets a wondering. Now, who, what, when, why, then back to me, pretend. Yeah, yeah, living, yeah, 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 to one that you know where I'm at. Yeah, but don't flash it down, yeah, living up proof, don't flash it down, yeah, living up proof, don't flash it down, don't have that act. Yeah, living up proof, don't flash it down, don't have that act. Yeah, living up proof, don't flash it down, don't have that, yeah, flash it down, yeah. Get your close love, get your close love, get that, probably get that, probably get that, get Sunday, get Sunday, get Sunday, get that, probably get that, never gonna flash it down, don't have that act. Fakers keep faking the real ones attack. The pussies who want to get the where I'm at. It's such a close love. The air was smoking on the beat. I'm 
My city make you crazy, bitch. Yeah. 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 My city make you yeah. breathing, yeah. breathing. Yeah. My city make you crazy, baby. Hold you too far, like radio shows. Fuck those, your own folks, you first. So it's like shouting over the homeless, thinking that they hopeless. Yeah. While you go to broke chase, to I don't shit. I'm osmosis, I'm osmosis. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the doors when we scream like branches. The theme is raunchy, his rants are on beats. He's sick like ranch cheese while I plant seeds. Stick your jaws of pantry. She see ID and throw her panties and hand back like panties. Yeah. Dark. He's that darkest side. Watch you get on. Come. Here we go. On this one right here. This one's yeah. dark. 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 Hey, yeah, check it on. When the demons come, everybody runs. When the angels fall, their bodies dug under hell's cathedral. Do you hear the dark bells rung? Muslims pray on rugs. Christians uh, pray on the drugs. Who love so drugs? My Muslims fold their hands and pray to the dark god. Opinions are like bands, they get thrown into the mud. Opinions are like fake bands, they get thrown away. From the heart, thrown away like broken guns. This road I take is nothing for those that just stop. This road I take is foul and filthy. Webs moved and spun, fakes weaves and shuns. Limbs bleed from the cuts. Limbs torn in the dark and dug. This whole dream is fought. A terrible nightmare. I come riding like the headless horseman on a dark mare. Meet your maker and stare into the eyes of a dying breed that's rare. Darkness. Still trippy beat. I couldn't rap to it because I was too. I couldn't do it. That's why I passed it to darkness. He ripped it. But I need one more guy on it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah. 
and back. Molly Crew style fucked up, bourbon and smack. I worded the wag. Y'all a bunch of serpents and grass. Split tongue, double crossers, never heard of the command. And they go back. They walk in with me when I murder the track. You feel me the bat? Kick them in the sternum and back. Molly Crew style fucked up, bourbon and smack. I worded the wag. Y'all a bunch of serpents and grass. Split tongue, double crossers, never heard of the command. My word is a fact. Burning churches, burning some crack. All the old school double A curse in the past. My curse in the back. I'm cursing with the purpose to win. It's coercion. Now my curse and curse is cursing the track. I'm turning it back. The earth is turning circles and back. I'm reversed and all these burning while I'm burning collapse. I'm hurting at last. And I know I'm deserving of that. Shit, I'm the king of the body, have it back to new stances. What happened to your assassin? Over rap is my passion. Homicide is my offer. You're dead. Crystal Lake Cabin. The most repulsive offensive degree. 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 Separate us from our own 
this one yeah I forgot about this one he, he named it like NJHK that was kind of like a symphony one yeah, yeah same style yeah, like that one. Oh, I've been trying to find it Oh, bitch, 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 bitch,
Seances, bioluminescence at its essence, spitting a prophecy, passing down genetic mutation, virus killing, abomination, have patience for ascension, molecule transport, cellular, 5G transforming consciousness, iron sore, cutting cord, disconnected source, DMT smoke pours out the chalice, absorbing waves, display DNA engraved, quadruple helix unraveling, scroll shit was written, while deep meditating, speaking in tongues. Spitting venom, snakes splitting atoms. So I become death, destroying worlds. It's planet casket, bow time to end time. Pesticides exterminating parasites. On this day, the sun burns its brightest. Hell rises to the surface, turning everything to ashes. Polar shift drift, atmosphere hit different. Despite the science and technical advancements, we all abandoned. Doom, bitch. God ain't saving. Humanity been fucked. Earth's enemy naturally abuses resources. Of course, it's what's deserved. Consuming everything pure. 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 Hey, I'm a certified dungeon ray. I'm grimy, got the nails through the baseball bat. I'm slimy, the way they came Taiwanese. Play for me where they place the cheese. Something similar, super thug on the internet. Only God getting my respect, you can bet on that. Oh, made it out alive. Let the streets kill you either way. Hustle hard, stack paper, get your pay. Lord God, hold your strap. Father first, then I stop to rap. 
get the blood, get it, get it back. I'd lose my life if I brought the wrath. So I hold it back. E, no regrets, I'm the illest, the sickest. Most of y'all are suspicious. Premonition is a vicious one. I'm not concerned with all the issues. Cleaning up your blood like it's dishes. Uh, this is a gutter. I'm with your mother in the back, cutting up on a cocaine sack. It's a wrap. Fly planes, it's getting cloudy. I get your first for the cavalry. Call them in. Hold up the city like an ottoman. Clean a mess like I'm down a bin. Ray of light through the ray bands. I'm automatic. Seen tragic with a beam on the barrel. Click clacking. Uh, toe tagging. I really put them on. Beats like belly bones. And I'm ready. Zelly to trelly. I put one in your belly. Body swelly. Sweaty. I'm a sewer like Manoa. I maneuver with the strength. Gas in the tank. You can bet on me. And if doom is a R.I.P. It's all in one mischief on the dead man's room. Conversing with this king, man, I'm alone in my room. Assume hell's more disrupted by a tune. I'm here with I'm taking a long run here before the shootout at high noon. Die soon before you make one more threat. Drag the bloody blade across the family portraits. Smash the china, break up the dynamic set. Why the wild horses did you get them cold sweats? Yet burning sunsets, let's cut the safety nets. This is 13 to 1. On, so start placing side bets into duel and dawn. So who will respond? This is Russian roulette. Let's not forget what I'm gone for. Give my regret, my pretty, pretty pet exists. Stereotypical new radar silhouette. There's so much pain in the world today. And I sit and watch the earth and everybody decay. And I really don't know what it's all about. But I swear I'm being eaten from the inside out. There's so much pain in the world today. And they say you live in three and you can out it your way and I really don't see that to be the case cause we're not the ones that are running this place. There's so much pain in the world today. I sit and watch the earth and everybody decay. I really don't know what it's all about but I swear I'm being eaten from the inside out and there's so much pain in the world today. And they say you're living free and you can have it your way but I really don't see that to be the case cause we're not the ones that are running this place. Backwoods track or help me pull up on the trip. 1395, here's your bike and a slaughter. Can you got ill feelings? I suggest that you harbor it. I am not a solution, but I'm certain we ain't part of it. You think this is the end? Well, it's barely just the start of it. It's barely of a fair, so get ready for the modern shit. Barter wins against rich ticks and chains, and then the harder it gets. The same ships with no pain. Strain my throat, grab me in a coat, steel. Grab my knuckles on the table. I'm ready to hug at the ocean, and I'm rapping. From my heart, cause it's the only time I feel it. Then I even wrap the bubble around my Oldsmobile and vice versa. It can only get more worse. It's like a dead man's curse. It's hitting me up a rap. I like to hit brakes, my floss, do a little grab, get home. I'm trying to do this. It's like a lifestyle running my head. And you and if you don't do the shit, then you don't know the hassle, clear the path. Or get stampeded by the war dancer Scorpion sing up with the venom and the cancer Answer me this last chance for subtle song A type of bliss You're losing all your honor And sometimes you wonder if Beyond the mental gift If the shapes of other shifts Will exist right this To hold the power of Odin Overloading the modem I told them who we are I'm overthrowing all your heroes Got a local CD bar Stereo the superstar All up on your CDR No big self-destruction That's what got me this far There's so much pain in the World today, and I sit and watch the earth and everybody they can and I really don't know what it's all about, but I swear I'm being eaten from the inside out. There's so much pain in the world
Don, have them send one up to the room. Why don't you just fuck yourself? Save a little money. What's your problem? Stop trying to bait me, Paul. You know what my fucking problem is. No, why don't you tell me? You want me to tell you? Fine. Steaks, three pound lobsters, the shrimp fucking cocktails you made everybody get. Then on top of everything else, you send those skates a bottle of three star. I was being a gentleman, Chrissy. You ought to try it sometime. Not to mention the Leonese fucking potatoes you didn't even touch. What? I lost my appetite. Fuck you. Excuse me? You fucking heard me. I'm telling you, Chris. I don't give a fuck anymore who you're related to. Go ahead, Paulie. Go for it. Your big fucking moment. You left me $16, sir. Yeah. Perhaps you miscounted. There's 1200 bucks in it. That's correct. And the bill was $1184. Assuming you don't tip on tax or alcohol, 15%. I'll tap that. Yeah. I arrived at this moment, steady my focus. Felt the planet shift till the second I wrote this. Smoothed out the ocean, leveled with my motion. Invoked the spirit with this hocus pocus. Approach with caution, but there is no other option. Box damage, till I begin boxing. Swing my way out. Till I am exhausted, engineered this flow with my own concoction. Hold my skills that became second nature. Design worlds on a loose piece of paper. My chance to be the maker, reality shape. Piece together puzzles that craft every layer. I understood my power, hope to never reach its limits. Moderate the output, this is the beginning. There's a threshold, and sometimes I like to hit it till I engulf the planet and take everything with it. Trash the ballad that I wrote, cause the thoughts that I chose. Trade the rhymes I compose. That angered the soul from, from the pain, I suppose. That I shoved you below, bottled up to its limit and about to explode. Hope you survive the blast, caught in the radius. The chances are you're not. If I'm the one who's aiming, not a stranger to the dark side. Sometimes I like to favor two sides at the same point, so I go by my alias. So after all, we're going to expose this in the same way. It's the same way. I'm going on my next lesson. Race bash, we're ready. Bodies back to camp. Get no regrets in this world. I do it on my next slash and race bash and dragging bodies back to camp cabins. You just happen to now. I'm here to set the record straight. Smash you on the song. I'll then put you on the butcher's plate. It's okay because you all get it one day. I don't give a fuck what any of you bitches say. Staying late in a killer tuxedo. And chicks at the funeral looking so damn full. Look, just to bring them right back down. There's a smile on my face and more than symbols of frown. I'm a geeky now, cause I'm still feeling buzz off the spear. There's about to be a party at this graveyard here. Come get me to feel the presence of something bad. Yeah, legends, yeah, it's what we do, so get back. Just get that locked down in your head. Cause in three, two, one, dead. Emergency alert, emergency alert. This is the war chief to all guard posts. Rehearsing my verses gives me the power to take it spirits. I'm creating lyrics while other rappers are chasing women. I'm a cynic, getting higher than carrier pigeons. My saliva sour like the citrus juices from the lemon. Made by Nostradamus, I create a break your conscience. Always looking for bars like a raging alcoholic. Prospect of progress, God's artist project. This goes no books with extra to rush for your solar concepts in America. They turn upon you if you're a minority. That just gives me more of a try to gain authority. There's more to see behind the closed curtains of surprise. 
Supreme Court. Extreme wars are fought so someone can be Supreme Lord. They spend their whole life chasing money and power, but can acquire the power by generating half an hour. You can gobble anything around me like a black hole. When confer solid objects in a reservoir trap, no blast flows. Hit the speed, space shuttles travel at. Entertained by murder like poachers in hunting habitats. The chemicals are mixed, so make an alchemist seizure. To the cast and think of the problem, I'm a calculus teacher. Deadly with runs, using his mind to a plug in mind. Beware the mighty, the surgic acid diet, the mind. Even snuff assassins say I got unusual gore. Like the grown unicorn, torn and use it as my sword. To fight the hoarded demons, I weakly see when I'm eating. My pregnant girlfriend's precious, developing baby fetus. Bitches that I can see with the torture and badly beaten. All the same, my work is written by the hands of the genius. If I'm one inch parts, you will break your heart in three. My mic is used to give rappers tracheotomies. I'm the god of problems with the skeleton and heart of Logan. Hispanic resurrection of Pickel Lamar Coleman. The undiscovered member of the children of the corn. Have a separate contest with the eye of the storm. My vitamins core, but when I need the protein, the harvest of blood I shed every time my nose bleeds. Deadly beast. The only time I rest is when in peace. Sleep on rappers like they're fixing code. The comment the scene and chest to bleed. Next to feast, I suffer several deputies. My destiny to be horror course, best of deadly MCs. Cannibalistic rapping traditions consuming base. Use my razor sharp tongue to sharpen but shoot up plates. Nothing but dope ones like Colombian drug dealers. Question my rats in the circle of blood spillers will kill you. Into the warlocks, endure hot flames, soul bound, full pound carcass apart, the skull found. Into the warlocks, endure hot flames, soul bound, full pound carcass apart, their skull found. I deploy iniquitous convictions, decisive decisions, destroy with decisive positions, and chaotic conditions. Yeah, we got eyes and hands with x ray visions. I was just ultraviolet with indigo spectrums, ultraviolet, extraterrestrial cognition, infrared perceptions. My brain's filled with evil intentions. I sterilize the eyes to prep for dissection. Conversations with demons and alchemy circles of deceptions. Your life is no longer comprehended, and so as a lack of comprehension, death will be presented. Savagely murder your Pride, both verbiage, verbal verbicide, words verified, words of homicide, fall deaf to ears like your edit died. Heads cracked with torque bow, commando like Rambo while playing gears in the mirrors while my name's numerously repeated. It's unclear, hey, your life's indistinctively deleted. Supernal entity encompass the enemy effectively. My killing is perfectively intermissive. My ego is murderously conceded. I'll laugh while life is entirely completed. Into the shadows I disappear, changing immortal, introducing death. Forceful as immortal, bloody vaporous through portal retractors. I'm he who desolates matter, shape shifter, master. Any of your nightmares just to watch your dreams shatter. I like to observe humans as their blood splatters, black holes ripping through matter, recreating white holes right after the creations of unnatural disasters. An introduction to the life after wood and after Mary after always. Dress in a jumpsuit while wearing the mask of Jason. After rough battle rappers, they go through remasculation. Elaborating collaborations for emancipation from the rappers. This shit ain't been premature ejaculations. My music's what created Charles Manson's the Skelter. I'm a lecture for city, deaf and blind like Helen Keller. Sacrifice my friends and drink their blood out of a coffee mug in bed. Dracula with the blood stuck on my paradontiums. Haunt the clubs that don't have major strikes in their playlist. Quick is the speed of light when racing alien spaceships. So sonic booms like Ayo, a uppercut like Ryo. So ill when I pray to God, I infect them with the swine flu. Throw off my energy from the sun like sunflowers. My breakfast is a box of bullets, seasoned in gunpowder. October 31st, I visit Dracula's coffin before I divide and multiply like algebra problems. I ain't even tell. I want what I want. I'm gonna be Left and right shoulder, it's giving you superpowers like Leatherface with the motor. The John Ryan and Jeffrey Dama keep sacrificing with Donna. I'm talking to Giancana, the felony marijuana. The decomposition resorts to malnutrition. You're dead from my demand. What you mean, most delicious? Dramatic like little cats still in favor of the standards. And I see African bodies and the red on the canvas. The fuck I use to worm me, devour cowards and birds. As you hear the werewolf howling, you'll be crapping out dirty. The inhumane and vigorous will eat and be glitterous. I'm the monarch of the empire. Like David or Virgil, when their positions were created, it's tradition and fiction. Like each other, our romances keep our living the vision. With their decisions, in the hands of civic positions, I'm more than all the your internal and toxic division, bitch. <laughs>
Fuck yourself, fool. Oh, this way, way. The corn nigga, they don't nigga the corn is me as they. Black hat. Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bit? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bit? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a half a choke and pretty go ain't pretty gonna have to choke a bitch? Pretty gonna have to choke and pretty go ain't pretty go ain't pretty go ain't pretty gonna have to choke a bitch? Go ain't pretty gonna have to choke and pretty go ain't pretty go ain't pretty go ain't pretty go ain't pretty gonna have to choke a bitch? Is Wayne Brady gonna Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? Oh yeah, that I, I was I was showing you a lot of the tracks. I don't want to show you actually right there. I was gonna I was like uh, showed you the. I wanted to show you the the ID tracks that we had on there. Yeah, because you told me it's all you want to see. I am in disguise. This yeah. way, no one will recognize me. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you want? Your head. <laughs> Happy Halloween, ladies. You was right about you, you were sly. Ramirez was an big snob. He died on his knees. Hey, the way, huh? I took his snob. head and raped his woman before his blood was even cold. Have you ever seen Highlander? <laughs> yeah. No rubs on you. I need to drink. You was right about you, you were sly. You was right about you, you were sly. You was right about you, you were sly. Ramirez was an epic snob. Ramirez was an epic snob. Snappy snob. Really died in his stupid. Ramirez was an epic snob. And his reality. Reality over records. Results. Reality. Reality. Reality.